Um, I'm going to be performing Honey Give the Resident in the bedpan. I don't have anybody home with me today. You might hear my cats in the background. My bed's also a little low, so I'll be everywhere. Um, this is the head of my resident. This is the bottom of my resident. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is knock on the door, introduce myself, let the resident know what's going on. So hello, Mr. Pillow. My name is Lydia, and I'll be your nurse aide today. And today I'll be uh, giving you the bedpan. First thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to perform hand hygiene. Close the curtain for privacy. I'm going to raise this bed rail. Go around the bed. Raise that bed rail. I'm going to raise the bed for um, good body mechanics. You don't want to be hunched over or hurting yourself uh, while you're working. And then I'm going to lower the bed rail closest to me and put gloves on. cover my resident just to be nice and you know nobody wants to be exposed. Here's my my waterproof pad. I'm going to turn my resident over to the side. Place our waterproof pad under. I'm going to also roll up one side so it creates this hump that our resident is going to roll over. Here's our bed pan, my beautiful pirate fish bed pan. Place it under our resident's bottom, pull them over the hump on the other side of the bed and continue rolling out your waterproof um, towel thingy. And then I'm going to take my gloves off. Try not to touch that. Thing. And then we're going to discard. We're going to make sure the head of our bed is in a seated position so it's more comfortable for a resident to use the bathroom. So let's pretend that I did that. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to um, give my resident air call it. I'm going to raise this red uh, bed rail and I'm going to lower the bed. And then I'm going to make sure my resident has uh, toilet paper or egg wipes. And then I'm going to perform hand hygiene and I'll let my resident know, hey, use the call light if you need me. And then I'm going to leave the room, shut the door. Okay. So now I'm back in the resident call day. They need help. First thing I'm going to do again is perform hand hygiene and put gloves on. Gloves can be tough sometimes. I'm going to go back and raise the bed rails for resident safety, one side and the other side. And I'm going to raise the bed for good body mechanics. And then I'm going to gently push our resident over to the side, using that collar. And then we're going to take our bed pan. I have two towels at the end of the bed. One towel's down, so the um, bed pan goes on top of one towel, and then the other towel I'm using to cover the bed pan. I'm going to provide perineal care. Always wipe front to back, so I'm wiping my resident's bottom. And then we're going to get rid of this waterproof thing, creating that hump, rolling our resident over. Continue. Rolling it away from me. And then we're going to place it on top of our uh, bed pan that is covered with a towel. Um, we're going to keep that also at the foot of the bed. Get rid of our gloves. Discard. And then we're going to, excuse me, we're going to raise the bed rails, and then we're going to lower the bed, excuse me, I have to burp, <laughs> and then we're going to lower the bed, um, and then lower the bed rails, perform hand hygiene, um, we're going to give our resident, I don't know what I did with the original call light, but we're going to give our resident a new call light to call us if they need me, and then I'm going to get new gloves, if I can find any, there we go, new gloves, Okay, this is our third set of gloves. You just have to change them three times. And then we're gonna take our bedpan to the bathroom. So here's our bedpan with a towel under it, towel over it. And 
our dirty um, waterproof rag. So we're gonna take it to the bathroom. So here I am in the bathroom. We're gonna measure the urine if the resident is on the intake and output, and then we're going to empty and clean the bedpan per center policy um, and store it, should be stored, I think at the bottom drawer of the bedside table. Um, then I'm going to remove my gloves, perform hand hygiene, report and record my observations.